Lewis. Hey, let's go to the let's go to the guy wearing the most stylish pair of blue goggles on the desk currently, Jordan Leslie. <laughs> BYU wide receiver extraordinaire now preparing for the NFL draft. These are the eyes of the NFL scouts after <laughs> pro day for Jordan Leslie. Wow. Woo! I felt a little left out with the glasses. So hey, I had to get my you're own. Looking, you're looking sharp, man. Listen, uh, what the, are you the, wearing? This is how much money we make compared to what you'll make in a couple months. <laughs> That's what that is. Whether or not you're wearing blue goggles, what is, what is the game of the year in your opinion, Jordan? <laughs> I'm a football player. I got to go with the, you know, the win over Texas, maybe even the, the Cal game. But, uh, you know, if I stayed away from my sport, I guess it would be basketball versus Gonzaga. I mean, that's a huge win. You know, killed their home streak and everything. So, yeah, that, I would have to say that Okay, one. you bring up you bring up BYU-Cal. Okay, so for people that were not maybe as invested in that game because it was the final game of the year compared to, like, the early season. Who are you? I'm, I'm wondering who those people are. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, okay. Why, why would that game have an argument to be the game of the year? I think that just kind of, you know, showed what the team was capable of. Um, you know, we kind of went through a slump, four-game losing streak, and then that kind of just capped off, you know, the four games after that we won and kind of led us into the bowl game. Even though the bowl game didn't go, you know, as we expected, it kind of showed some glimpses of what the team could have, could have done. What's your argument uh, for the win against Texas in football over one of the other three? Why should that be – the game of the year versus, say, Gonzaga or women's volleyball versus Texas? I guess I'd just say because it was just, you know, a big win. It was, you know, what, 42 7. It was the most dominating performance. It was the but, most but it dominating, was performance. Most dominating okay, performance. We'll go, go that way. We'll talking. go that way. The now most dominating performance. I mean, you know, to put up 42 at Texas, you know, that's, that's, that's a huge accomplishment for a team. I'll tell you why he, he likes the Cal game. He had five catches for 155 and two touchdowns. Yep. <laughs> that's when it was like, oh, Jordan Leslie's healthy. <laughs> Michael Elisa was running side by side with Jordan Leslie during one of those touchdowns. <laughs> that's on the, the fastest sideline. Michael ran all year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of speeds and uh, pro day, okay, so we, we just had a conversation during the break. You ran a 444 official time. Now, the unofficial time was a 434, and that was an average on all of the handheld clocks, or whatever. Okay. Was that was that the best part of your pro day? What in your mind? What was the best part of it? Um, I mean, of course, that's that's big time. I mean, to have some scouts, you know, four three one and stuff like that. That's that's big time. I kind of wish I could have ran a little faster. You know, just kind of don't gonna, get if, greedy. If they're gonna add point one, I gotta get you know four you know under the four fours. But um, you know, I was really impressed with the broad jump uh, to come out there and jump a ten ten. And then position work, I think, was my favorite thing. Uh, I felt like I really showed you know what I was capable of, and you know that I had good hands. So that's always good. What are you hearing from NFL scouts or otherwise about your performance? Uh, you know, I know a lot, you know, were impressed. I think going into it, the biggest question was my speed. Uh, they kind of doubted, you know, playing most of the season hurt. You know, it doesn't, doesn't show too good on the fi- on film. Uh, and I think they were guessing, you know, 4-6, 4-7. I think I kind of blew that away. And I think that impressed a lot of them. I, I think my agent's hearing from a lot of teams. And, you know, hopefully that put me, you know, the draft. We'll see. Okay. On that note, let me read a quote to you from uh, one of the guys that was watching you closely. Dane Brugler, senior NFL draft analyst for NFL Draft Scout and for CBS Sports, said this about you on Twitter. Wide receiver Jordan Leslie helped himself at his pro day. 4-4-4-40, 36-inch vertical, 10-ted broad jump. Draftable grade from several teams. So with that in mind, Jordan, you feel like you're going to get drafted? I mean, I guess you never want to, you know, come out and say it, but I mean, I really hope so. Uh, I feel like, you know, the stats I've put up and the numbers I put up on Pro Day, I feel like, you know, I deserve it. You know, sometimes we don't get what we deserve. And if I don't, it's just going to be another chip on my shoulder. And um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Do you, uh, are, are you healthy now? You know, now I, are you healthy? I'm, I'm almost 100%. Yeah. Almost 100%. Almost. I, you know, I guess just being an athlete, you feel like you can, you know, just be a little better. But, uh, yeah, I'm like 95. Good grief. What can you do at 100% <laughs> if you're doing that at 95? Run, run faster. <laughs> Jump higher. <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> if you're at 95% now, what, what was your uh, average during the season, would you say? Percent. Honestly, I was probably like 70. Like, wow. I was, I, was, I was hurting pretty bad. From the I'm, Virginia ankle it was, sprain? It was Virginia ankle and then just overcompensating, and then I pulled my hamstring. In what game? Utah State? The next game, Utah State. Yeah. Okay. It was, like, so it was on like the second play, right? Or it first was, play. It was somewhere in, at the beginning. So yeah. Taysom threw a deep ball <laughs> to you. You caught it, and then you were limping. It was like, oh shoot. Oh, that that was the that was still the ankle, and then it just kind of 
you know, just came all together. And then, mm. yeah, most of the year it was just the hamstring, not even the ankle. Ankle was, you know, for two weeks, and I was good. Do you have yeah. those conversations with NFL scouts and whatever? Make sure that your agent's plugging that out there. Like, he did this at 70%. Okay, like, has, has that been said? Are they aware of this? Um, you know, I, I told my agent, and I know he's, you know, trying to get it out there that, you know, the film might look, you know, a little slow and stuff like that. But, um, you know, hopefully teams realize that I wasn't 100%. Oh. Who's, who's the most likely BYU player to get drafted? Uh, you know, I think Alani Fua, of course. You know, he's put up great numbers at the Combine. I know he was a little disappointed about his 40, but I think he, you know, came out on pro day and, you know, showed that he can run. Uh He's kind of like a tweener, so he's he's in between, in, you know, positions. But I feel like he'll put up great numbers and, you know, have a chance to get drafted. More then, more than you? Do you think you're the t- <laughs> the top guy and then the next you never guy wanna, is Alani? You never want to say yourself. But I mean, of course, I'm ha- I'm coming with confidence and think you know I sh- I should get drafted. But uh, you know, I think Alani has a great chance. Either way you look at it, your mentality, knowing you, you you anticipate whether you're drafted or not, to make an NFL roster, correct? Of course. You know, if I don't get drafted, it'll be, you know, a free agent, and, you know, I'll pick a team and, you know, go perform. There you go. Jordan Leslie with us on BYU Sports Nation. Just had a monster pro day at BYU. Put up NFL draftable numbers when you look at uh, the competing wide receivers. Okay, I have been challenged... Uh, by my producer Ben Bagley, first of all, that no, no, I c- no, 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 you no, said I can do he this. He said I cannot. He said you cannot run a four nine. So that's so when then be- you met the challenge. That's when it became a challenge. Oh, I thought you said don't yeah, step I- up like that on me, no, Jerem. He wouldn't just bring it up random. You said, oh, I could do that, and I then he said, said, I bet you. And can. it went off. It went off of what happened to Harvey Unga during like they had some ruined technology. You hear about this? Some, mm-hmm. some veteran combine, faulty he, technology. He ran a four nine one and a four nine four, and everyone at that veteran combine said, oh. They were those clocks were slow because mm-hmm. all of the guys yeah, were running really Felix slow. Jones ran yeah. slow. Everybody. So so homeboy said, "Oh, I could run a four nine forty. Like so I can so, run a four nine forty. So now we're gonna do this. Do you think he can run a four nine forty? So is this hand time or laser? Are we gonna add hand point time. one? Hand time. Hand time. Not adding one. <laughs> no adding no point adding. one. Hand Wait, time. we have to add one. If no, we don't. Like, if I got no, point one added, he yeah. has point this one added. Isn't you a get point one. You get point two added. This is not a pro. This is your amateur day. Exactly. Which is why we're not adding any time. So we have amateurs doing it. So it'll be slow and stuff. My goodness. Do you think he can run a four nine? <laughs> that I'll be I your think, friend even if you say no. I think people underestimate how fast a four nine actually is. It's fast. It's pretty it's fast. Really yeah. fast. Two time elementary sprint champion at Clinton Elementary. Oh. Ran I ran a twelve second one hundred fifteen years ago. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to him now. Okay. Hear, hearing All those right. stats, hearing those stats, wow. I'm gonna give him the four Man, I'm a <laughs> I'm, okay. on, I'm, on the, I'm on the no side I of need, this. I need some help. I need some help, Jordan. What's the best thing I can do to you, get ready for that? Your start. Work on your start. The okay. biggest thing of a 40 is your start. What should I wear? You Al- saw almost, me. I was just straight almost tight. Almost nothing. <laughs> almost nothing, right? You just wear the little underwear, and then you're good. Oh, my goodness. We don't want that for you, though. Yeah, I don't know we if want, I could do that. We want a nobody, onesie, nobody like zip up. Nobody wants to see. I'm gonna wear that track jersey right up. I there. want you to wear like the like this the head cover speed thing and everything, like the Jamaican <laughs> Give backup me the swim cap. Yeah, you have the swim cap on exactly. <laughs> Headband. Be awesome. Oh my goodness, Jordan Leslie with us on BYU Sports Nation, breaking down the most important part of a forty, and that is the start. Okay. I'll, I'll do yeah, my best, man. Train on your start. Just get explosive. I got Brandon Bradley. He said he's going to help train me. Oh, okay. So I don't know if that's helping much. When did you get a fast guy? <laughs> oh, shot it, Brad. When did you get a Bradley. fast guy? <laughs> I thought I'd get that shot in there real quick. Yeah. Okay, maybe okay. I should have Jordan help. Okay, the other day we were talking about elite receivers. Depends on what your definition of elite was. We, but we had this huge argument over Mitch Matthews, whether he's an elite receiver or not, in college football, with everybody in college football. What do you think? Look at the guys coming back. Is Mitch Matthews... An elite college football receiver. It's hard for you to say no, but go ahead. Oh, I mean, I definitely feel like, you know, he has the tools and everything to be one. To uh, become. To be one, yes, of course. Okay, uh, that, that, was, that was my opinion as well. And he said he is now. Thoughts? I think right now, going into the season, he is an elite receiver in college football. I, that, that, is, that is my opinion. We're putting you in a fun spot. Go ahead. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I can, see, I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, he put, he put up great numbers last year and stuff like that. Uh, and then, you know, he got injured the season before, so that's the only reason I would say, you know, I know he has the tools to beat. I mean, I've worked with him side by side, and I know, you know, next year he's going to have a great year. Is and he better now than he was last year? Oh, yes. I well, mean, I went, to, right? I, went to, I went to spring ball, and, you know, he's, he's having a great spring. 
You know, he's, he's putting stuff together. I even, you know, talked to him about, you know, different ways to run routes, stuff that I learned from my position coach and stuff like that. And I know he's going to have a big year next year. So you're going to make Mitch Matthews an elite receiver by, two, <laughs> by tutoring him. No, that's definitely – he definitely has all the tools <laughs> to, to be one. He definitely does. I, 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 you know, wouldn't be surprised if he puts over 1,000 yards next year. Absolutely. I, I think he can become an elite receiver. I'm a, I have the same opinion. You think now. You have a different definition of elite than I do. Yeah, mine typically What's, favors what the dictionary says too. What? What is the dictionary? We're not going into that now. What we got to go. What is the definition? Let's look that up and bring it back. We, we don't have time you, to argue this right now. Are you going off of yards or are yeah, you going talking, off okay. of? Well, that you to me, you're not an elite receiver if you don't have a thousand yards. You got to have at least a thousand yards. He was nine hundred right? something. Can you be an elite receiver without having a thousand yards? Yes. I mean, I wasn't. Playing yes. every game? I guess I wasn't considered an elite receiver. And I came in with. Listen, you, know, you were very good. But elite in I, I college football. With, yeah, I came. That's I, when I came here with like. 2000 something like that yeah. in my career yeah and I wasn't considered one so Listen, I don't you're, know you're you're fighting that uh, against those guys that are the elite that probably getting drafted but you're an elite guest that's the good news <laughs> <laughs> elite guest thank you <laughs> oh, he's gone he's gone elite level now okay your definition of elite is, uh, we're a, is talking a like smaller top number 5 ish percent of yeah. receivers right see i top 5% or ten? I don't know. We don't have Woo! time to dig into it. <laughs> it don't ask me a deep question the and give me shallow waters. conversation continues after this. Jordan, thank you for being here. Congratulations on Pro Day. You are the man. Oh, thank you. This is my last time being on here, probably. Well, for a while. No. For a while. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we're I'll come call, back. We're Until the draft. Again. Hey, that was an elite Pro Day. <laughs>